Okay, welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to have a brief introduction to circuits. So I'm going to try to keep it short. Um, well, the basic purpose of a circuit is to turn electric energy, electric potential energy, into other forms of energy. So, for example, light, heat, and sound. So, for example, your toaster does the first two. It turns electric potential energy into light when it glows red and heat. Okay, and the basic analogy for this, for a circuit to understand it, is water flowing. And that's really where the word for current comes from, is from the Latin word to flow. Okay, so here's a basic diagram of a water circuit side by side with a basic diagram of an electrical circuit. And so there's kind of three basic elements of each. You have something which flows, which we call a current. You have something that causes the flow, which is what we call a voltage, at least for electric circuits. And you have something that the water or the electric current does, and that relates to the resistance. Okay, so on the left here, you can see that I have a pump, which is forcing water from a low height to a greater height. So that's kind of like potential energy. The water gains potential energy because of the work done by the pump. Then the water sort of flows around and goes through this pinched area, which is labeled R for resistance, and we can measure the rate at which the water flows. Okay, so that's kind of like the current, the pump is the voltage, and then where it pinches off is kind of like resistance. So in a circuit, we have the same thing. We have a battery, and we've already shown in a battery that chemical reactions give electrons more potential energy. They're getting squished together. And when they get more potential energy, that's going to increase the voltage. Okay? So that's what's happening inside of the battery here. So electrons are taken from 0 volts to 12 volts. Now they have a current, which is the flow of charge, and they go through a resistor, which is like a pinched off area, and they continue. Okay? So remember that a resistor is oops, resistor is represented by this element here, so a wire with atomic nuclei inside, and so we, we think about um, the electrons sort of going through that wire, okay? So we talked about the voltage, how it's similar to the water pump, okay? And the unit for that is volts. Current, the unit is amps, and resistance, the unit is ohms, which is the weird Greek letter. Okay, now a couple other things to keep in mind is, first of all, current is defined as the amount of charge that passes a place per second. So it's the rate of flow of electric charge. And so charge Q is in coulombs time t is in seconds, so one coulomb of charge flowing by a certain point in one second is one amp, named after ampere. Okay? One amp is a lot of charge, or a lot of current, rather. And to, to kind of give you a fun fact about amps, here's a little uh, diagram that I found. And so we have the amount of amps listed here. And so you can see that down here, this is one milliamp, 
where you can actually feel things at about 10 milliamps you're definitely going to feel something and above 10 milliamps you're going to get a painful shock more than that and you won't be able to let go of things your muscles are going to be paralyzed and then we start getting into issues okay so this is sort of upwards of about 0.2 amps so and then of course you see this death right here okay anything more than about 0.1 or 0.2 amps is really really bad so you want to try to limit your exposure to current okay so that's one kind of fun thing about current um, so just a couple of quick facts about circuits and then we'll be done okay the first thing so this is crazy but true facts about circuits okay first of all in real life it's the electrons that are moving okay in real life the electrons move but some wise guy had the idea of coming up with conventional current don't ask me why because it's a really silly idea and basically what it says is that if you have a battery with a plus side and a minus side okay for example here we have a plus side and a minus side well someone had the wise idea of saying that positive charge flows out of the positive end and goes through the circuit to the negative end so this is what we would show as the direction of conventional current okay so the direction that positive charges would move and so when we talk about circuits this is really what we say for the direction of the current and I know it's silly but you have to try to just go with it so just imagine positive charges would be moving in the direction of the current it's dumb but just you gotta smile and nod with this one okay the second maybe not so crazy fact is that in circuit elements such as a resistor I'm gonna put mostly they obey something known as Ohm's law which you're going to be investigating a lot which says that the amount of voltage is equal to the current times the resistance and so that's kind of this guy here and I can see that if I increase the voltage that's kinda of like putting more pressure on the thing increasing the potential energy of these charges then I'm going to have some more current okay I don't know if you can hear that but there's little sound effects with this and if I decrease the resistance then that current is going to skyrocket okay so V equals IR Ohm's law is something which works for most elements of a circuit and it also works for the circuit as a whole and that's something that we'll be talking about more in class okay now the third thing that I want to leave you with is kind of a crazy fact that the electrons themselves they move relatively slowly okay in a circuit they move uh, something like I don't know maybe one centimeter per second and this is what we call a drift velocity you don't need to worry about where that comes from but that is what happens but the weird thing is when I turn on the light switch the lights turn on right away so the question is why does that happen if the electrons are moving so slowly so that's just something I wanted to leave you with and so in class we're going to be investigating circuits in more detail but this, this is just an introduction 
to the basics.